what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to today's vlog. Today we're going to be talking about my RS6. So this is my 2016 um, RS6, it's the performance pack, so everything that come with it come with the carbon fibre um, and the bigger brakes. Um, so it's got the carbon ceramic brakes. Um, as you guys can see, painted in a wicked acid green. And the alloys, the alloys here are still stock. Um, had a few people asking what sort of, uh, what wheels they are. But yeah, these are just the stock ones. I've painted them all black. Try and murder the car out a little bit more. The headlights, the front headlights have been tinted. And yeah, carbon all through this car. You've got the wing mirrors inside full of carbon and on the rear diffuser and everything. A lot of cool mods to this car, a lot of cool options uh, from factory. We've also blacked out the front badges, the rear badges, tinted the front plate and the rear plate. The, the paint colour on this, this is Panther Black. So in the light, it, it almost looks purple. Quite a flat black in the, in the shadows. Now power-wise, we're pushing 736 horsepower and 1,024 newton meters. Um, so stage two um, from MRC. Uh, the guys do a wicked package um, and we're pushing good power through it. Safe power though. Also down to the exhaust, we've got a full Miltec exhaust from the downpipes to the midsection um, and then a straight through three inch um, welded up from Dave, um, who in my last video, you guys would have seen that. So yeah, we've got the tints in the back. Um, the whole car is all blacked out. Uh, I think we're limo tints in the back here. Got the sticker here, adds five horsepower as you guys know. But, um, that's actually my clothing brand. Um, anything that you guys see me wearing in, in the vlogs and that, um, all available in the link down below. Uh, so if you see something that you like, go check it out. I was gonna smoke out the, black, the back lights here, but we'd done it um, and they were just way too dark. Uh, you could barely see my brake lights, so we decided to polish them off and yeah, just leave them standard. I think one thing, and this is for all uh, RS6s obviously, is the body kit that comes with them uh, compared to the A6s and the S6s. Um, mate, they just look so aggressive, they're so wide. Um, and I know one of my mates is actually coming out with a wide body kit for these cars. I uh, don't think I'll go wide body kit with it. Um, I imagine that would be a nightmare, especially because I daily drive this, so... Yeah, I try to keep it as practical as possible. And yeah, the sunroof, obviously one of the best options in my, in my eyes. I'm glad that uh, this one came spec like that. I don't know why, I think ever since a young kid, I, I see a car with a sunroof and I think it's automatically a, a pretty posh car. So yeah, that was a pretty, pretty big um, option for me. And on the inside here, again, riddled with carbon all over. A massive, massive option, the, the carbon pack. The center console, um, everything just carboned out. And it's got the blue flake in it as well. So it's not just any carbon, um, it's the blue flake carbon. I think the, the best, well, second best mod in my opinion, uh, are the seats. So they're not the full leather seats, um, so they don't get sticky when you're hot or anything. Um, they've got the Alcantara um, centers, and again, woven in the blue stitches and everything. So yeah, this car is truly is a, an amazing spec. Um, I'm very grateful that I've got it, and I'm very lucky to have come across this car um, when I did. But yeah, and again, the, the pan roof uh, from inside the car is pretty wicked. It's got the sun, um, the sun visor, so you can slide them across um, if it is too hot. But one option that it didn't come with was the upgraded sound system. Uh, so it's got the Bose in it um, here. So it's kind of upgraded, but it's not the best. I can't remember what the other one's called. Uh, but you get the tweeters that pop up out of the out of the front here, um, and it, I think it's a little bit better quality. Um, but these are hardly on because you're listening to the engine, but when you do want to listen to music, they're still, they're still sweet as, but um, yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame that it's not um, specced out with the with upgraded sounds. Uh, also, we've got the suede um, here under the center console and all through the door as well. So yeah, it, it's awesome, especially when you see it in the light um, and you get to take in everything that's that's been done to this car, that everything that's been specced. Um, and hopefully we can improve on that. So yeah, um, check this out though, this is us starting it up. One annoying thing about this car, but it's a must have, is it's got ghost on it. Um, so you can't just start it up straight away. You've got to go through a sequence um, before it'll actually start.
<laughs> so yeah, it's uh, pretty obnoxious, uh, if you guys can hear me. Even made even better, obviously, in this uh, underground car park, but nah, it really is an amazing car. Like I said before, I'm honestly, I'm very lucky to own this, um, and it makes me smile every day. So now, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, this car is really obnoxious, uh, especially with the exhaust on it, like it does. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely lucky and I'm extremely happy that I get to own this car and I have the privilege of driving it every day. Even though my wallet disagrees, it's uh, honestly an amazing experience. And yeah, if, if anyone's out there looking for an RS6 and you sort of scrolled through this video, looking for it, I'd 100% get it. Um, I've had a Mustang GTR, a couple of other brand new cars and nothing comes close to this, nothing um, even touches it. I don't even think BMWs, the M6s and M3s, um, I don't think they'd come close. We've got a load of ideas for this car, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the content um, that we're creating with it. And yeah, hopefully you guys stick around. Make sure you guys subscribe, um, like the video, helps us out massively. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next one.